Hey, I'm Ryan McMahon, and if you don't know me, uh, this is a pretty good spot to find me right here in the boat, uh, chasing muskies all over Minnesota. I've been guiding muskies here in Minnesota for seven years. I spend close to 100, 150 days in the boat uh, fishing muskies, and this is really my office right here. Having fish out of aluminum boats my entire life, I was really looking forward to stepping up to fiberglass, and I really wanted to find something that was gonna be, not only have a good ride, but also be able to handle very well in these tough conditions, in these big waves and heavy winds. When it came time to, to get a new boat, I had a few things on my, my wish list that, that I had to have to have three guys fishing out of a musky boat. Number one, I needed it to be open. I needed uh, three guys to be able to you know, throw big baits and handle nine foot rods. I needed a boat that was going to track well in wind and waves, and I needed a boat that was going to get me from point A to point B throughout the year. November, three foot waves, I still need a fish. That's when you catch some of the biggest fish of the year. With the Skeeter MX 1825, that's really what I found was something that was very fishable, something that tracked well in the wind and really met all my needs. I was really drawn to the boat because of the space and the layout. Um, what I have learned to love about the boat after fishing for a year is the handling. And that's something when you test drive a boat, it's not something that jumps out at you. I went with the 200 HPDI on the back. With this 200 HPDI, my top end speed is, is nearly 60 miles an hour, which is plenty fast for me. You're always going to run into a situation where you might need to get off the lake in a hurry or make a long run, and it's nice to have that extra speed. One thing that I was really pleasantly surprised with too is the 80 pound Tarova. I was amazed at how powerful this 80 pound is and I think it's in large part because of that react keel and just how it cuts through the waves and after working spots and working you know complex rock bars and stuff like that I'm just amazed at the react keel, how it handles with the trolling motor, um, how I'm able to keep position the wind's not blowing me around, but I'm still able to cut through those waves and, and really just have this boat right where I need to have it at all times. Now that I've got a year under my belt with the, with the 1825, I really have made it my own boat. I've put a few uh, touches to it. Um, I've got a big deck box that really opens things up here, gives the second guy a lot more room. And it's nice too because it's only about a 12 inch step up to, to the box, to the deck. And when you're fighting fish and and uh, running around the, the boat with a big net, uh, that's a huge thing for me. Not having to step up in this 12 inch mark is, is just perfect. A big thing for me is making sure that I've got two people up front that are comfortable and not running into each other, not hooking each other. And um, this open floor plan is perfect for that. You know, really this boat is going to have almost as much deck space as a full windshield 20 foot boat. The 1825 fish is big, uh, but it's still easy enough to get into some of the little mud puddles I like to fish. Uh, trailering it around, it's not killing me on gas. It's, it's easy, it's maneuverable. The way that the boat's laid out is really nice, but something I really like and was really drawn to was the 50-inch live well. Uh, I think it's almost a must when you're musky fishing. If you need to revive fish, it's, it's huge. It's a big thing in musky fishing to be able to keep that fish alive. When you're talking sucker fishing in the fall, you're not talking uh, little crappie minnows, you're talking 18, 22 inch suckers. And to have them in a 50 inch live well and keep them fresh, I mean, I'm keeping bait for, for days on end if I need to, so that's a big plus. So if you're on the market for a, a new musky machine and you're looking for something that fishes big and handles big water, I'd definitely take a look at the Skeeter MX1825. I'm Ryan McMahon and that's my Skeeter story.
to start a Skeeter story of your own, visit your local Skeeter Boats dealer.